Christmas for our first throw in the opening leg of the match. These two have met before, twice before, both on the European Tour stage as well, uh, both in Germany, and it was Humphreys who came out on top in both of them. And in one of them, he averaged over 103 as well. It was a 6-3 win in Saarbrücken. I can't imagine, with Luke Humphreys not having played that many Euro Tour events and not gone deep in any of I can't imagine that he's beaten anybody who won twice on the Euro yeah, Tour. He mentioned that as well earlier, the fact that he always seems to come up against Ronnie. He played Kim Hybrex fairly recently on the Pro Tour as well. Like the Pro Tour stuff so far this year is ridiculous for Luke Humphreys. There are only six people who are averaging more than him. Yeah, I was just... Uh, ask about that. I, I knew he was in the top ten in the averages on the on the pro tour this year. I didn't realise it was it was seventh year. Yeah. So Peter Wright is one of them. We know what he's been doing. Won a title. Ian White's another one. He's been threatening. Missed out narrowly on winning a title. Michael Van Gogh in the world number one's another. As Humphreys. One hundred and eighty. A bit notch. That is. That's how Mark Webster would put it. But yeah, the other players, Gary Anderson, title winner, Gerwin Price, title winner, and Devin Peterson, semi-finalist to play the best arse of his life right now. They're the only people averaging more than Luke Humphrey. He's only played 11 games in 60 minutes, he's losing with 103 yeah. averages. Yeah. He'd like to win with a, an 85 oh, average. Oh, But then again, 85 averages, by and large, don't really get you too far these days. Win is a win is a win, and right now, Good position to level this game up. In fact, a very good position because Ronnie Hybrex is absolutely nowhere in this leg. So, yeah, one two companies would like to tighten up on his finishing though, but he will return with Hybrex on 209. Six starts and doubles already in this contest. Ronnie just plodding along. 96. Give himself a chance. 20. Yeah, yeah, just as well. The leg is running to throw first. This is without a double there would have perhaps uh, set the alarm bells ringing. Ronnie hasn't played on the European Tour since losing to uh, Luke Humphries, by the way. That was at the European Darts match play in June of 2018. So it's, what, a year and a half since he uh, last was with us on the European Tour stage. It was a 6-5 defeat by Humphreys that day. He's, uh, never gone beyond the third round of a European Tour event. But he did, of course, have a famous run at the European Championship in Selfridge in the semi-finals, beating Phil Taylor along the way, although that was seven years ago now. Yeah, he uh, lost his tour card at the end of last year as well, did Ronnie. He's on the Challenge Tour this year. That's where you'll find him playing the Brent oh, Butter darts week in, week out. Well, not quite week in, week out, but... He's in the mix at the Hildesheim Q School this year. Last three days, last 16, last 32, last 32. Wasn't enough. But he wasn't, wasn't out on a question that Ronnie could have won his way back onto the tour. 58. No, certainly not. I mean, he was one of the names in the, in the frame when talking about potential Euro Tour card uh, winners from the European Q School. Not many two-time World Cup semi-finalists uh, took part in that. Uh, there's Vicky watching on fairly anxiously, it has to be said. I'm not sure she ever watches on in any other state. Well, she's, either, she? she's either completely animated in the extreme mm. or very placid and very oh, no, 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 Leg off the score in here. And Ronnie to hold his throw once more. 16 for Tops. We establish a two on lead. Yeah, had a campaign in the host nation qualifiers last oh, night. Ronnie Hendricks, he beat, I suppose, the, the, the key victory was in the final itself against Brian Raman. 6-4 uh, the score in that one, he overcame uh, Robbie Knopf as well, 6-1. Yes, of course, he's only played in the Associate Member Qualified, and of course it's the host nation, it's even Belgium. Uh, he fine? Of six Belgians we, have, Belgians we have, two highest ranked ones, Dimitri and Kim Hybrex, and the three in the host nation qualified. We don't have a, a Scandinavian or Nordic and Baltic player, because this was a late addition to the calendar, they'd already held their qualifying events for the first year. We did 
you'd see Mike De Decker, who's probably playing as well as we've seen oh, so far this year. Done some really good averages. Yeah. He came through the actual main uh, tour card holder qualifier. There is Kim Hybrex. Supporting his brother, 54 years old these days, Ronnie Hybrex. Today. So they're all on the way this evening. Devos playing Danny Knopper, Mike De Decker, Ron Mullenkamp, Kim Hybrex against Ryan Harrington, and Dimitri Vandenberg rounds off the night against Dirk Telnikov of the Netherlands. Now then, it's getting a bit edgy for Luke Humphreys. Can he put another in there? He can't. And so Ronnie should get at least a dart in the bullseye. Ronnie Uruguay, 86. Yes, he should do. And this is for a break of throw as well. This is a key moment of the match, this. Double 16. Yeah. Oh, 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 Humphreys hasn't really started firing, and he could say he's running out of legs here because uh, Hybrex is halfway there. The winner of this, by the way, to face Michael Smith, the latest uh, nine dart leg provider on the uh, circuit last night on the oh, 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 oh. His first on TV as well. Baffert is taking it long for Michael Smith. Safety. I think Humphreys, the first couple of legs, he was bossing this game. But he only came away from that at one all. And since then, Ronnie Hybrex has gone 15 data, 14 data. He's a resurgent rebel. Haven't seen him on hey, the Euro for a couple of years, as Rob was saying. He, he, when he was on the tour last year, he was doing pretty much nothing. He'd go weeks, and weeks, and weeks without picking up any ranking money. Senior playing some good darts. Well, you often get that as well. He's played competitive match darts oh, last night. Uh, quite arguably of a, an opponent of Luke Humphreys, but nevertheless, you know, a win's a win. It's a good habit to develop. And there's often a lot to be said for the players who do play in the qualifiers on the previous night. They come in fairly fresh, relatively fresh, fairly early the next day. Stats make good reading for Luke Humphreys. Finishing woeful, no, average, not impressive. And this is after starting the game pretty strongly, but just stuck in a rut. Six averaging 80 on your require eight. This is just way below par uh, compared to what he's been doing in the main so far this year. Hybrex is averaging about 92. Hybrex 60 away from a 4 1 lead. Keep up this excellent finishing. now for a Ronnie Hybrex and Luke Humphreys just looks a little bit shaky here he's dropped his darts on the floor he's not found a trouble oh, with his first two but he has with the third they've been few and far between the trebles for Luke Humphreys over the last three legs or so well, his average has plummeted not even had a dart to win any of the last three legs as Ronnie has just gone about oh, it Shake of the head tells his own story, and if Hybrix can just click into gear here with a big visit, the pressure would be on once again. Didn't like that first start at all. I think he'll switch, but he's just gone the wrong side of that trouble 19 wire. That's a bit of a let off for Luke. Down. Oh, so 40 just 
Martin out of his tour, but he cannot afford to slip back into it because otherwise this game just disappears. Oh, is he ball? Yeah, those first two darts really brought that treble 20 bend. He switched anyway to the 18th. Do you want to go? You're hitting everything you want, Ronnie. Just pick something. 84 away. 125. It's a manageable 76. It could have been better with that final round, but there you go. Oh, is he too? having real trouble making Ronnie it. Ronnie requires okay. Even when the first start, when it misses the treble and it doesn't look too bad as a guide, he's not able to use it. Luke Humphreys. That's uncharacteristic of the stuff he's been playing so far this year. That is a, an awful dart, but he got away with it. <laughs> and one makes it five one. Another break of play. Four legs on the spin, and Luke Humphreys is in danger of getting a hiding. I don't think Ronnie even realised he'd broken the throw there. But he is throwing first, and I think if he does finish the job, I think this will safely go down as the biggest upset of the day so far and who knows it could well prove to be the biggest upset of the day all round because Luke Humphries as we said we oh, missed his not. credentials at the outset of this match he was the obvious favourite given the way he's been played and given everything he's achieved and given the fact that Hybrex has been oh, away from not. the European Tour for so so long it could well be a surprisingly welcome return for Ronnie to the European Tour stage if he can just hold it together this leg or maybe the next two. Well, look, Luke has not been impressive. It's going to be one of his, probably his most disappointing display of the year so far. And not an ideal preparation for Thursday in the Premier League, but Ronnie Highbreak, after the first couple of legs, he's had three 15 darters and a 14 darter. He's averaging about 102. 355. Well, that's it. It's a, it's a massive week for Luke Humphries. He's got the Premier League on Thursday, then there's the UK Open next weekend as well. And if he goes into that doubleheader with a, a thumping here, it could really knock him sideways. Well, he just looks lost up there at the minute, Luke Humphrey, isn't he? He doesn't look oh, like he's he's three. turning around. Oh, it's better. Oh, it's, 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 it looks effort, effortless when he gets it right. He is he's a incredibly attractive player to watch because he just stands there and lets them go. Oh, he gets going, but Ronnie Highbrex could end this with the biggest of fanfare. 45. And Luke Humphrey knows this game is gone. He doesn't believe seven. he's going to win this. He doesn't believe he's going to turn this around. Uh, Highbrex has six stars from here as well. 170 will not go, but he's got so much breathing space and this is something very surprising, I'd have to say, and I think it's uh, going to be a very welcome win for Ronnie Hybrix for the Belgian crowd as well. Oh, is he three? Ronnie Rigoire, one. Not there yet, though. Oh, well, well, and good getting yourself into this position is how you finish things off. Two good darts, and it's over. Can't find it. Well, Luke Humphreys, I'm not sure he's going to get a dart at nine because the trebles have looked razor thin. No, and he won't. Oh, is he three? Found a treble ironic. Ronnie Rigby's last dart, but it's too little too late. And Ronnie Hybrix, 56 points away from a place in the second round of the Belgian Darts Championship. And he's got opportunities at tops here. Wayward with the first. pulls off a big upset in the afternoon session on day one of the Belgian Darts Championship here in Hasselt. His previous visit on the European Tour stage over two years ago was a defeat by Luke Humphries, but he's exacted revenge this time around, and the Rebel is through to the second round here in Hasselt and the second round of the Belgian Darts Championship.